Hello, everybody. It is 10.01. I'm a minute late. My apologies. Um, on a Saturday morning, December 10th, this is Nick McPhee, Unhindered by Coding, live stream, uh, where we are currently working on implementing an evolu evolutionary computation system in Rust. Um, it says closure there. We're focusing pretty much on Rust at the moment. Um, uh, and exploring all kinds of crazy things um, in the Rust universe uh, in the process. And Izitsu is back. Hello, Izitsu. Uh, wonderful to see you, um, especially since I think we're going to do some complicated things that uh, you will be a huge help on. So appreciate it. Um, so we had left off um, last Saturday on Wednesday night. We pretty much had the tradification of everything done, unless we want to tradify generation, which I kind of feel like maybe we do, but we don't have to do it right now. The The whole lib thing is a bit of a mess and needs some cleaning up. Um, and I feel like maybe generation turns into a trait in the process. Um, and maybe there's even a, another type that gets introduced at a level above generation, like for a run. But um, the more immediate question, and the thing that I think we will wrestle with most much of today, um, is <coughs> that of, um, make you go away, oops, no, make you go away, there we go. Um, the issue of accessing uh, the individuals in a population. So a population is essentially a wrapper around a collection of individuals that we're evolving. Yes, I did. Uh, so Izitsu, to catch people up, posted quite lengthy notes about iteration um, on Discord. Hello, Black Goku. Um, welcome to the stream. Um, and so... And I, I think I understand what you said on Discord, and I think that's where I want to go today. Um, but, uh, um, oh, you were Composite Gen last time. Oh, cool. Well, hello, Composite Gen or Black Goku. Um, uh, nice to see you again. Um, um, and uh, so I think that that, that is the direction I want to go. I confess that uh, I haven't had time to dig through all of that like in great detail, and there are parts of it that I'm like, well, that seems reasonable, but I'm not sure I understand as well as I would like. So I think there's going to be some exploration and learning going on um, in the next two hours, uh, which is good, right? I mean, that's the whole point of the exercise. So. Um, We'll hope that I don't get, you know, too befuddled um, as we wander through this. So the issue that we're trying to address is a population is a wrapper around a collection of individuals. So um, we have a trait population. Here's an example of an implementation where a vec pop is just a wrapper around a vector of individuals. Um, and this used to be a specific type, um, but as part of tradifying everything, um, this is now just some generic I, and when we need it to be have particular properties, we specify the traits that indicate the properties that we need I to have. But in this, at the level of the struct, it's just a collection of, individ, of I, where we don't really know anything about I. And we have this trait population, that has an associated type individual um, inside of it, which again could be anything. Um, uh, at the moment, every actual concrete use of individual is a type called EC individual. Don't care about those details right now. Um, but uh, it, at the level of population, we don't really care. And we have uh, an is empty method and a size method um, specified in the trait and a default implementation of is empty that just uses size. 
full marks to Zitsu for suggesting that twice, I think, because I we did it and then I forgot about it and we did it again. Um, and then there's the issue of how do we access the elements in the population. And to get through the code on Wednesday, or maybe even this was, this might have been Tuesday, we added an iter method that returned an iter over individual. Um, and the VECPOP um, implementation of the trait um, just returned self.individuals.iter as a way of getting through that. So that's swell, but it, it ties us to having an iter method and uh, that's maybe not as general as it could be. Um, now, we may be putting a lot of effort into solving a problem that no one in the evolution computation universe really cares about, but maybe they don't care about it because they haven't sort of had the tools that have allowed them to think about it in other ways. Um, most evolution computation systems that I'm familiar with, and I've been doing this for uh, 25 years, um, are implicitly some kind of array um, where iterating is actually entirely reasonable. But there are exceptions. Um, <coughs> some are more exception-y than others. So one that feels like it could be an exception, but in practice might not be, is uh, there's uh, the idea of an island model of a population where the population is broken up into groups that are on different islands. And so the kind of biological, and you have to be very careful. Evolution and computation people misuse biology with enthusiasm. We're very, very good at like hearing a term and deciding we know what it means um, and what its implications are uh, when often we don't. Um, but this island, the idea with an island model is you have islands in the ocean and each has their own population and those populations are largely independent. But that occasionally there is some migration from one island to another. So you have a storm and a little gecko floats on a raft of... Uh, palm tree leaves and makes it to another island and then can um, either establish a new population of geckos there or incorporate itself into the existing population of geckos on that island, that kind of thing. Um, now that, an iterator over population there seems perhaps a little, although in practice, because we tend to use the iterators to, uh, to find parents and parents all come from the same island. You could return an iterator over the individuals for a single island, that that would be a coherent thing to do. Um, now what iter would do in that setting isn't clear. Is it choosing an island at random? That doesn't really make sense. Um, do we tell it which island we want? Well, then this, the signature doesn't work because the signature doesn't take an argument that says which island are we after. So it, the iter thing on an island model isn't awesome. It's a, definitely a little awkward. Um, and so actually, I, let's not get too deep in the weeds here, but that would be an example of a case where an iter would at least be more complicated than it is now. Um, so, so that would be a reason to try to make this iter method go away. And so we had deprecated it in a previous stream. Um, and at the moment, if you look at the, if you run Clippy, the only Clippy warnings are a huge pile of use of deprecated function population iter. Um, so there's, uh, like seven or eight of them or something. Um, <laughs> And so the, the, the goal here today is to try to see if we could make this go away. So we don't need this iter method as part of the population trait. Something like it is gonna have to exist, clearly, 
Um, cause we have to have some way of going through the individuals. Um, but it doesn't have to be kind of cooked into the population necessarily. And, um, actually I'm going to close that. We'll go here. Um, the traits are the, sorry, the selectors, um, give us a sense of where we're going to need something. So, so for example, best select, select takes a population and a thread and returns an individual. And we have to have some way of getting individuals out of the population. And currently all of these selectors implement that using iter. So, in the case of uh, best here, we get an iter over the population. We call max on that to get, and we know that um, individuals have to be ORed so that max will make sense. We can talk about the, the biggest um, member of the population, and then we'll just unwrap because the population's not empty. So we iterate there, random, same kind of thing. We generate an iterator. And then we use the choose method, uh, which acts on iterators and gives you a randomly chosen uh, element from that iterator. And then we unwrap that. Um, so that's where we are. <coughs> and so looking at the, <coughs> the selectors is probably the important way to think about the iterators. And I think actually if we come back over here, <clears throat> I think the uh, deprecations show us that the use of iter is pretty much all in selectors. So selector, 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 selector. Um, now here's one in population. Um, I think that's in a test though. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's down in a test. Um, we can check. Selector, this is... <clears throat> in a test and this is in a test so the only one i'm not sure about is population line 133 and i think that's going to be in a test because it's down near the bottom yes so that's in a test so everything at the moment all the uses <coughs> of iterator of interest to us are in selectors and any other use of iterator is just in testing at the moment and we can rearrange that as we see fit so I want to focus on how we use the iterators in the tests and then see if from that we can um, explore alternative approaches to doing this. And the suggestion, um, the, um, is it too shared on Discord? Um, is to, uh, use a HR, HRTB, higher something trait bound, but I don't remember what the R stands for. Rust HRTB. Higher rank, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> higher rank trait bound. Um, and that would be on the selector. So here on the selector, we would say that we've got a selector, um, P for best, where P is population, P individual has to be ORed, and we need um, the population, I'm going to put that here, for some lifetime pop oops p with lifetime pop has to implement into iterator so the idea here is we don't say that all population includes iterator but we say where we need it that it provides the ability to iterate so we're giving ourselves some flexibility instead of saying everybody that's a population must do iter we say in the places where we need it, which in fact, I think for lexicase or for selectors is probably everybody, 
but um, uh, we can say that where we need it, um, we will uh, require it. Um, individual. There we go. So, so now we're saying that um, P has to be a population. P also needs to implement into iterator where the thing that it will iterate over are individuals. And then we ought to be able to say into iter here, into iter, um, because we know that population implements into iter, we ought to be able to get an iterator from it um, and use it that way. So I think if I'm understanding what Azitsu was suggesting, that this is the fundamental idea, is that in the selectors, when we need it to be able to iterate, we will add this uh, constraint um, uh, saying, hey, well, we need it when we need it, but we won't include it in the actual population itself. Now, this is great, but we get a compiler error. In particular, uh, um, so I think this just is saying that we didn't implement uh, into iterator in the right place. Actually, I'm going to go to the... I, f I find actually with these complicated uh, cargo build, with these complicated messages, uh, uh, reading them inside VS Code is just not always super helpful. And here my ASCII art is broken because my font's too big. Um, yeah, that made it awfully small. So, um, best is not an iterator. Um, so, I think we're just saying for pop iterator is not implemented for vec pop. So, vec pop doesn't implement into iterator, so it doesn't satisfy, uh, where'd it go? It doesn't satisfy this constraint here. Um, so we need to say that VecPop implements into iterator um, to make this work, uh, I think. So let's see, uh, population. Yeah, I'm in the right place, okay. Um, so VecPop, uh, let's see, where do we want to put this? So we implement population, we implement slice and individuals. Those are both deprecated and from iterator. So actually maybe right here um, with the intention that we're going to eliminate these guys. Um, in fact, we could put it in there and then those two guys would go away and this block would stay. Um, so we're going to... Oh no, it can't be because we're implementing a new um, impl i into iterator i for vec pop okay why didn't you blow up there we go i was being slow oh and that needs to be vec pop of i now you should be unhappy because we don't have the things that we need oh and i guess we don't need the Generic, do we? Um, we need item equal i. Or do we, we don't even say that. We just, we have the item down here. Is that part right? Yeah, okay. And then we're going to need, um, yeah, so, uh, so, 
so is it who said there's an implement implementation in discord so i'm uh having a look at where that was okay here we go um so impl into iterator for population type oh now okay this is quite different um No, it's not. Okay. Um, it just is parameterized differently. Um, and so, oh, but you're suggesting, no, 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 no. You've just got a different wrapper. So, so yeah, so the item is the, the I, I think I'm going to need a lifetime there in a second. Um, and, and then we can put this is going to be an iter over i um, and then into iterator um, is going to return a self into iter self okay so we need this is going to need to be the internal individuals uh, yeah that should be right individuals dot iter boom I think that okay so I think this is where I'm going to need, yeah, I need lifetime stuff. So I'm going to need a lifetime here and I'm going to need, uh, the population. Actually, I'm going to change that to pop. So I'm the individual is going to have the same lifetime pop. And the into iter, <coughs> the these guys are going to have that same lifetime, and that whoa did not go happy places. Um, oh oh oh! I left out a ref here. That so when you're talking about the important part of the references, I left out an important reference. And that is also needs to be a reference. So if we have a reference to a population, we can turn that reference into an iterator. And that's important because over here, select is taking a reference to a population. So we are asking for that reference to be turned into an iterator. Um, so I need to make sure I've got references in the appropriate places. Um, uh, now we are grumpy about what? So many things we could be grumpy about. Not all trade items implemented into iter. Implement the missing type. Type into iter equals, we have a type there. Maybe we should look at this. Oh, I've got a syntax error. Uh, what have I done? Oh, it's, I need comma. There we go. That's a lot better. And now why are we grumpy here? Syntax error. Uh... Cannot construct. Oh, oh, because these are private fields. So this doesn't actually work as a way of constructing one of these. So that's not happy camper. Um, 
So we didn't need that because the iter will do the right thing. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so let me make sure I'm following along with my own code. So we're going to implement into iterator for VecPop. And we need the lifetime because we've got a we've got these reference. Well, actually, we have this reference here. We have this reference here. And we need this reference because the iterator is being retrieved from a reference to a population, not an actual population. So we need this reference that's going to force us to attach a lifetime. And the item, the individual I, has to have the same lifetime as the, um, or uh, won't live longer than the population. Um, and then into iterator is just a slice iter um, over with this lifetime. Uh, and then to get the iterator, we just call self.individuals.iter. And that should be spiffy. Um, and th this can, so this is actually one thing that threw me at first, but I think I understand now. So into iter consumes the thing that it acts on, and that made me anxious for a second because I'm like, oh, I don't want to consume the population. But this is a place where the reference is really important because we're saying we're taking ownership of that reference. We're not taking ownership of the population. So we're not actually consuming the population. We're only consuming a reference to the population. And that's no big deal because we can clone those cheaply whenever we need to. So I think the fact that this is uh, not a reference to self, but a self is no big deal. So now that fixes the compilation errors everywhere. And uh, in fact, gets rid of one of the warnings. And let me bring this back to be a little bigger. Um, cargo run, just, uh, oops, I needed, yeah, uh, oh, Ben, GA, there we go. Make sure that everything still works. So we had four of these before, and there's now only three of them, these warnings about the deprecated thing, so that's awesome. And... Uh, presuming this works, we can go through and clean out the other ones. So zippity doo -dah, that did a thing. And that was pretty nifty. Um, and so then the goal would be to do the same thing. We, we've done this, so that won't have to be done again. We just need to change the other selectors to use the into iterator. Uh, and then <coughs> the... Uh, at that point, we ought to be able to get rid of the deprecated method, except for we'll have to find the places that have the tests um, and clean those up as well. But that shouldn't be too big a deal. So I'm actually going to commit uh, because that, I think, was uh, a useful thing. And I am on a branch. I forgot to do that the other day and ended up committing several times on domain when I didn't mean to. Um, so we added that and then we implemented into iterator for VecPop. Okay, so um, add higher, what was it again? I looked it up. Rust, HR, there we go. Higher rank trait bounds. Okay. Um, uh, TB. Um, into iterator spec for pop in selector best. Actually, I think that's little s. Uh, so this has best require that the population P that it's act selecting from 
implement into iterator um, uh, and replaces the deprecated population iter method call with an into iter provide call provided by that into iterator uh, requirement. Uh, boom. Oh, and then uh, to make this work, we had to implement into iterator for backpop. Boom. So now we'll do the same thing in the other places. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. There we go. So we got to do the other selectors. Um, and in fact, so let's see, random needs it. All three of these are going to need it. Um, but we'll do them one at a time. So, oh, and I guess I could grab this line so I don't have to repeat it. Um, uh, let's see. Let's bring a where clause in. Oops. Burp, 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 burp. P population. Boom, boom. And then we'll get rid of the P population here. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, and then we can say into iter here. And I think that's good. And we had, oh, we had a third thing here saying individual was ORed because best requires order, but random does not. So that's why we don't have that line here. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. And now I get rid of another one. Let's do, uh, let's do tournament, um, where there are still, I'm actually going to get rid of the 18,000 versions of this. Um, oh, I guess we're still going to have the into iter timing problem here. Let me do Lex's case first, and we'll come back to turn it um and there yeah and there you had some <coughs> suggestions on the um ways to deal with uh is it so you had some suggestions on the ways to deal with the tournament selector thing so let's set that aside for the moment and um we yeah i think we just need to into iter here um so let's see, we need to add the constraint on the population. So there's a lot going on here. So Lex case requires that P be a population that implements into iterator, that individual implement the individual trait with test results being the test results type. So essentially Lex case requires that the individuals scoring be a vector of scores um, and that the things in the vector have to be ordered. Um, so there's a lot happening there. Um, and then, yeah, so then we just change this into into iterator and that gives us all those peeps. And that was the only one. Yeah. Now this is interesting because we promptly turn it into a vac. 
So we're using the iterator to basically get a vector of the individuals out of the population. And I wonder if there's something else we could do here instead of requiring that we get an iterator, since we don't really ever use the iteratorness of it, if there would instead be some trait that would let us go straight to vectorness. Um, like we could impl implement from, oh no, into vec instead um, as a more direct way of getting the thing that we want here. I'm gonna actually make a note. So we don't really use the iterator, well, actually I'll say it doesn't need to be in quotes, here as we immediately dot collect to get a vec. Maybe the constraint should be more uh, specific to our needs, like a um, into vec. Uh, constraint that says that our population needs to be convertible into a vac of individuals. And then we would presumably, actually since we've even specified the type here, Maybe we wouldn't, we might just be able to say population. I don't know. I'd have to think about whether we'd do that or we'd have to explicitly say um, into. But it feels like maybe there is a more appropriate constraint here. But I think this will work. Convertible. I can't spell. Uh, oh, yes. Vowels. Vowels are difficult. In English, vowels are completely impossible. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, see, is this who said, this would rule out using a vec directly without wrapping it in your own population unless you make it a new trait. This would rule out using a vec directly without wrapping it in your own population unless you make a new trait. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. I mean, vec pop is Oh, oh, so you're saying, oh, maybe I'm understanding. So I think you're saying that <clears throat> where we have VecPop as a wrapper around a vector of things. Yeah, right. I get it now. Yes. So we actually really don't need VecPop potentially we can just implement population directly for vec and skip the wrapper. Whereas if I want to do this, although can't a vec, So vec already impulsed into iterator. That makes sense. 
But I would think that d does a type implement into into itself? I can see that I wouldn't be able to add it because I'd be adding a thing to an external type. But I wonder if, because I know some of the types do. Um, for a reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Humph. So, make a note. The concern um, is it to Twitch is that um, the current setup will work with <coughs> um, populations that are bare vac. Um, where if we add this alternative constraint, we won't be able to use bare vex and we'll be forced to wrap them like we currently do with backpop yeah and i guess one thing i don't know is I could imagine a universe where the compiler actually turns that into No, I mean I can't it can't Well, I don't know. I mean the compiler might be able to see that you know into iter followed by collect doesn't do much and avoid like actually going down the whole list of individuals and then collecting them all back up again. Um, but I don't know. We might, since the this vector is mutable and we can't be mutating the original population, we have to build a new vector anyway. So actually, I don't know that this is actually a problem um, because actually, if we did an into, we'd have to make a copy of everything or at least copy pointers to all the individuals. We'd have to make a new vac um, because we can't return the existing vac since we use that in a mutable way here. So this is probably about as good as it gets. Um, and maybe I'm just overthinking things. So I don't think we'll make this a priority at the moment. Okay. So that I'm good with Lex case. Uh, and now we have tournament to deal with. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. And now tournament. Okay. So we had four implementations of tournament and this as slice one still works as well as, as fast as anything else. And that I think will still be an option. Um, so I think I'm gonna just lose all these guys. Actually, I'll leave that timing note in so that when I check the timings later, um, Oh, you're right. I don't get to call as slice. Well, that's annoying. Yeah. 
So this is where, um, so also in Discord, you had some other thoughts. Um, about using GATS uh, to possibly um, fix this by introducing a new choose trait um, and then having the um, the P population P be a population that also implements choose. Um, and then we could possibly, because this will work if I just take the as slice out, right? That will work. The concern is that it will be slow. Um, so we found through some previous timing stuff, whoop, I said that would work. Um, no. Uh, oh, I think that's just a, um, a import problem. Yes. And now Max is unhappy because why is Max unhappy? Uh, oh, I need the dot iter. I find that uh, I find that sequence always very weird. That I because I feel like this is saying, whoops, no, didn't like that. No iter found. Blur. Uh, so it isn't. Oh, it's after the choose. Because the choose. Oh, we had a vec there. That's right. <clears throat> when choose multiple gets. An iter it gives back a vec instead of the choose multiple iter type. So we need to turn that into an iterator and then we can call max. And I'm actually going to lose the um, uh, timing because the timing data here is meaningless now. Which we've removed. Um, oh. So, so you got some. Is this who has some suggestions in the chat about how we can possibly call uh, as slice? And one is to change the into iter specification uh, so that it does what we need. Um, or we can add an as ref array and we would add the as ref array. So I think you're saying, I think if I understand this, you're suggesting here, instead of saying is ref or into iterator, so we don't really want an iterator, we want a slice. Um, so P would be as ref, and then uh, we get rid of this part, and we'd have P, oops, angle bracket, square bracket, P colon colon individual. So we're saying that we ought to be able to refer to a population as a slice of individuals. Um, oh yeah. And then we, so we can get rid of that part and we don't need, yes. And then this would become as slice uh, 
No. Uh, as ref, as ref. Because that's probably what this gives us, right? Um, yeah, so we would say as ref, I bet. And then we get a reference. So we get a slice of individuals. Oh, very cool. And then we don't need the iter here. Hey, that's kind of nifty. So we're... And so this is actually one of the nice things about removing ultimately the iter method and we're replacing it with the traits that we genuinely need in the circumstances where we need them. So in the other places we needed to be able to, for example, just grab an iterator so we could call choose because we're using these choose and choose multiple things. Um, actually, I guess we're using choose multiples also true um, you know I wonder if actually this might be faster with the slice as well because the choose here I bet I should I should do some timing because I think choose if we have an iterator is going to process all the individuals before it knows which one it wants. Whereas if we do the same thing um, and say we want to slice here. Um, no, uh, random. That this is going to, this is going to be as ref. Um, and then does this need to um. Ah. Oh, I think I just need to add this. Let's do that. Yeah. And that will be better. Yeah, okay. And then we don't need that guy. And so now, because this comes as a slice, choose can go in directly um, and select the individual it wants at random <coughs> in constant time. Whereas before, since it didn't know how many items were in the iterator, it's actually going to have to process all of them and pick one to keep uh, but it's not going to know which one it's going to return until it gets all the way to the end. So that was an order N operation where N was the size of our population before. And now it's an order one. So this is actually definitely preferable. Um, now best has to go through all of them. So we might as well iterate there. Um, random did not. Lexicase does have to process all of them. Tournament does not have to process all of them. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, that's possible. Um, so, so the concern is that this as ref slice um, won't make sense for an island model that in some ways we're still we've tied ourselves to a particular way of thinking about um the organization but yeah and you're right maybe the islands need their own selectors and i'm not i don't want to i don't want to get too i don't want to let perfect be the enemy of the good here and get too bogged down in what we might do eventually, um, but instead focus on what I'm actually using. And we're not using the island model in anything at the moment in my work or the people I'm working with. So I think this is fine. Um, uh, so that's kind of nifty. Now, I guess a question is, is there any reason to not 
do this instead of into iterator other than the into iterator is arguably a little more flexible like this does kind of pin us down to having some kind of vector of um or array of individuals or being able to make one when we need one um And so, you know, we could presumably say this is also an ASREF and we would just call max on it. Um, and I don't know that we care um, other than we would only need to implement um, uh, where did into either so we're gonna to have to implement as ref um, here so we'll need to have two implementations for our vec pop is that a big deal I don't know um bo, 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 bo. quick fix implement method missing members so we're going to return a reference to t which is just going to be reference individuals oh self dot individuals yeah uh no Oh, and it's not T. This is going to be I. And it's going to be bracket I. And that's not happy. Oh, as ref needs. Voila, no, voila. Uh, is it just reference I? That doesn't seem right. So I bet this, this probably needs to be bracket I. And this then needs to be that. Because returning a reference to a array of individuals yes okay zippity um oh and because oh yeah right so because vec implements as ref as well as into iterator we could get rid of vec pop still. So the potential to like get rid of vec pop here still exists. Um, and we could just use bare vectors if we want to. So that's cool. Um, and I want to think about that a little bit more. Let me first, um, let's see, I've got a... I've got a dangling thing here. Let me comment that out for a second. That's interesting. So it didn't need either of those. Huh. Oh, it's the same one both times. That's Oh, it needed slice and it's got slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so that's gotten rid of all of those. Let's run the tests. Make sure the tests are all happy. I think they're going to be, we still have iter references in tests that we're going to have to get rid of. Um, still runs. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to do some benchmarking and figure out what this has done to some stuff. But, um, 
hopefully the as ref has actually made some things faster so that would be cool so let's see we should have deprecated things in yeah i think we got deprecations in population and in main because of tests um yep right here so a vec pop we don't want in we don't want iterator we want into iterator next wrap okay and same thing here yep and then um, main has some tests that need some changes uh where are you right there and pop is known to be a vec pop so we can say into it or there um and here again into it or here and that gets rid of all of the warnings and um so i think if we run all the oh Oh, that's interesting. So let's come back to that. I just want to run the tests and run the code. So the tests all pass and the code still works. And what's Clippy fussing about? Um, this type has already been used as a bound predicate. Consider combining the bounds. Okay, so they want us to plus things together. Fine. We can do that. So this is in random and tournament. And it didn't come up before. Um, and didn't come up before because this wasn't a P. This was the uh, higher rank trait bound business. Um, so, but now they're both P. So it wants me to do that. And it wants me to do this. Ooh, where'd my... Hello? I lost my mouse. No! Where did my mouse go? Oh, my computer's frozen. I don't know if you're hearing me or not. My computer seems to have locked up entirely. Oh! I'm back. Um, uh, that was weird. Uh, I don't know why my computer froze. This is an old computer and it needs replacing. And that's under debate as to how to best do that at the moment. And so, but it's like an eight year old computer. Um, but I like it. It's a nice computer and it still mostly works. So, um, Okay, so what was I doing? I was getting rid of Clippy warnings, which I think we've now hopefully done. Uh, yep, Clippy's happy. Run around the tests. They pass. And so you were worried that the into iters didn't change the semantics. I'm not sure why they would have. Um, so like, this is a reference to a population. We turn it into an iter over that population and we collect, and we're still gonna have the same vector of individuals. Um, so I'm, yeah, I think, oh, so you think it will, if we use a vec, because into iter will consume. Oh, is this going to be an issue if we tried to use a bare vector that into iter would consume the vector and we wouldn't have it anymore? Um, yeah. And we want the one that's for references.
And if we just had a bare vector, we'd get owned, I think, by default. Um, and that would potentially, that would consume the population and we would get into trouble. Um, yeah, right. If we just had a VEC and we knew we had a VEC, which we don't, right, because we have this generic population type, um, then we could just call iter and we wouldn't lose our things. But if we said and pop into iter, then we would get uh, references. Oh, and then in the test, we know what we've got, right? But it does mean If we passed a bare vec in here, this wouldn't work, right? We could get into trouble here if this was passed in as a bare vec. Um, and we would end up consuming the population, which we ought to be able to see so let's say if we go to no actually we want to go to best would be probably the one to think about um if if this were a bare vector then this into iter would consume the population and we'd end up having a problem because we couldn't call best more than once because we would eat the population the first time. I think that's true. We could actually uh, CFG write a test to check that. Um, oh, because we would be passing in a, re oh, oh, sure. We'd be passing in a reference to the vector and into iterator on the reference would give us um, uh, would give us the thing that we want. We wouldn't eat the, the vector up. Gotcha. Well, here, I'm actually going to write a quick test anyway. Um, uh, Boo, boo, boo. Uh, use super star um, FN um, can select twice. Uh, so now I'm actually going to say let uh, pop be back bang. Five eight nine, because uh, we shouldn't need now to use vecpop for this. And as long as the things in the population are um, ORD and our numbers are ORD, um, so then we ought to be able to say. Um, no, actually, let me put a, a few more things in here so that the winner isn't at the end. So let, uh, actually, we should just be able to cert equal bang nine best dot select. Uh, Interesting. RNG doesn't really need, or best doesn't really need the random number generator, but we'll give it one anyway um, because it's going to require one, or we will not have happiness. And why are we grumpy? Partial EQ is not, oh, reference. Is this, uh, it's 
expected a reference, but found the actual vector. So I need a reference to a pop there. And this needs to be an and mute there. And no. Uh, trait bound. The trait. So vector doesn't implement population. So we would need to do that. Um, actually, I'm going to do it here for for the moment. We'll probably move that, but we can say impl population for. Oops, I will need it to have um, vec i. Population was not generic, right? Um, so we'll have to uh, wah, wah. missing members. So the individual is going to be of type I and we have to implement size. Weird, you got lost there, dude. Uh, self dot len and iter, which we're actually trying to get rid of, but we can leave it there for now. Um, oh, oh, stop. Hello. There we go. Self dot iter. Okay. Why are we unhappy? Can't compare iter with reference to iter. So we got an issue where is this expecting references to things and it's getting the actual so what is, is, oh, is this, this, this? Yes. So best returned a reference to the best. Doesn't actually give us the thing. And so it could compare the, well, oh, now it's unhappy about something else. Um, oh, I need to let that be mutable. I knew that. And I think that is happy. And I think the test will pass is my guess. Oh, I forgot to put the test marker in front of it. Oh, and I didn't ever actually check that it happens twice which was really the point that we could call it twice and we don't consume the vector and blow the world up so i think that'll be okay and wah, wah, wah. you can do it little computer Ooh, no something failed uh Vec pop test from iter has overflowed its stack. Uh, that is not good. Um, so population vec pop test from iter. So do we have an infinite loop? Population vec pop tests right there 
from Itter. So something in here blew up the world. And we have an infinite loop. Oops, I didn't want to be there. And that wasn't true when I, that was, that must have been true before. I just didn't notice. Adding that other test shouldn't have caused the VecPop test to blow up. Come on, you can do it. What? Seriously? So, presumably impl impling this created the infinite loop. Oh, yes. Iter. Calling self.iter just calls self.iter again. This is totally an infinite loop. Um, and it's, I think it's even trying to warn me about that here. So, can I just get rid of this because VEC already implements iter? Maybe. Da, 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 da. No. So have to implement iter, but how do we implement iter if it's already there? I have no idea. Because we can't. We're going to need like self or something somewhere. Oh no, that takes, yeah. So we need like self dot. No, that is not legal syntax. Um, uh, so how do we say, can we just pass in, can we do this? Oh, you can, okay. Oh, that's interesting. I never really thought about that. So you can call, call self dot dot or self dot and a method, or you can call the thing and then pass self in explicitly. Um, but yes, as you say, it appears to be having the same hiccup. Huh. Well, uh, what would I search for? Um, uh, Rust, impl, Method leads to infinite recursion. Oh, actually, yeah, right. Maybe that's maybe that's the solution to the problems to not solve the problem, since the goal is to remove this anyway. Yeah, okay, I buy that. And since I think we're at the point where we can get rid of it. Because I think all the deprecations are gone. Do, 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 do. Yes. So I think we can get rid of that deprecated method now. And then we wouldn't need to worry about this and life would be simpler. So let's get rid of the deprecated method. Um, and maybe in its 
in a weird way, that's another argument for not having that. Whoa, what did I just do there? Help. What did I click? I like got into some kind of get history thing that I didn't want. I bet I clicked right there. Okay. Whew. That was terrifying. Um, and, oh, we now implement something we don't need to. Um, and looks like everything done. And, oh, hey, we're importing iter and we don't need to anymore. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. I'm going to clip you again. Run the test. And we're green. And run the actual thing. And we're good. Okay. So I'm going to actually commit... Well, let's bring this test back and we'll commit that as part of the fun and games. Now, then we don't need this anymore. And run the test. Make sure everything passes. Yeah, cool. So then I guess before we commit, um, yeah, okay. So really we don't want this to be there yet. Um, and really we want this to be over in population, not probably in, uh, in this test code. Well, let me commit everything and I'll just leave this chunk out. Um, cause I think I'll, I think I'll be able to do that. Let's run to best and make sure that, yeah, I can just skip that. Cause that's all that changed there. So main, we changed iters into into iters population. We got rid of the iter. Um, and added the as ref. I wonder if the as ref thing should be its own commit. I think maybe it should. Maybe it should be first. So let's do the as ref piece. And then we're going to skip that. And here we are using the iter so we can come back to that. Well, we probably should probably make sense to do the iters first before the as ref. Fine, we'll do the iters first. So let's do all the iter things. Um, yeah. Uh, and so we'll do that. And we'll do that. We'll leave asref out for a second. We'll do that. And we'll do that. And that will skip. That's into iter. So we'll take that. And that's uh, the asref. Okay. So. Um, Convert remaining to use into iterator. Uh, this converts. Oh, it's actually really just lexicase. So Uh, lexicase selector to use the new 
into iterator, can't spell. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I'm looking at the wrong thing. There we go. Into iterator uh, constraint on the population. Um, uh, and really, I wonder if actually those should be separate. I think they should make you go away. So let's just do this. So that does that. Um, now we'll do the as ref piece. Um, stage that and stage all of that and stage all of that. Um, uh, impl as ref for random access selectors. Let's just say use um, for random and tournament selectors which access individuals randomly um, uh, we constrain the population to impl as ref bracket bracket i bracket bracket doom um, so we get constant time random access. Uh, and so that's, we added that to, so we then added, um, added an implementation of as ref do 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 for vec pop i boop boop bop beep and these two are just adding a constraint uh, and we got rid of all that noise okay so that takes care of that and then here we get rid of all the remaining calls and so stage stage leave best out of it um get rid of deprecated population iter method this changes all remaining calls to population iter the uh, two calls to the new into iter um, uh, and removes the deprecated uh, population iter method boom that looks good um and then i feel like this really actually probably belongs over in population although i'm wondering if um so we could do that here so we now have one trait and two implementations. So we could turn population into a folder um, and put the vec 
implementation and the VEC pop implementations in separate things. But maybe we get rid of VEC pop altogether. I don't know. I have to think about what all does VEC pop do for us. Um, so this generate method. Um, Oh, okay. So you would leave something like this with the trait definition, but then something like VecPop might move into its own file separate from all of this stuff. Um, uh, and I do think like this logic makes sense yeah so maybe not rearrange things to see because if vec pop just goes away entirely then maybe we don't need to worry about um where it goes because maybe it just disappears um and maybe we just replace it with bare vectors now um because we don't need the struct. Um, so it's really a question of, can we do the things that we need to do on bare vectors or not? Um, will they just do the right thing? So, okay, I'm gonna, um, oh, I need to save this so that we get that the impuls there and now this test is here. And let's make sure the test still pass. Pretty sure everything's good, but just being paranoid. Uh, what time is it? 11.32, zippity doo -dah. Um, So let's commit that. So this added an implementation for a bare vector and a test, they're almost separate things. Um, oops, ah. I'm gonna uh, add impl population for back I uh, this as a implementation of the population trait for a bare vector of individuals. Um, and it also adds a simple test to test that confirms that we aren't consuming the population when we make a selection. That test also demonstrates the use of a bare vector as our population, which is actually pretty nifty. I like that. Okay. So I think that did a thing. Um, so let's see. If we come back to population, what does VecPop actually do? So the generate logic is actually kind of interesting and probably needs to be saved. Um, it could be a free floating function um, that just returns a vector of individuals instead of a VEC pop. And I don't actually have any problem with that as an idea. Um, and uh, that's just saying we implement population. Those are deprecated and we can just get rid of them right now. Um, uh, into iter, 
vectors do that, so that's free. As ref vectors do that, so that's free. From iter, presumably vectors do that, and that's also free. And from parallel iter probably also does that. So in theory, all of this stuff should just be doable. So as you say, it really is um, uh, only the generation. Oh, and you're suggesting uh, making generate a new trait. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And so generate would be a super trait on population and it would return a population. And then we would have to implement that on vec because vector implements population, it would have to implement the generate trait and then the logic that we have would move into there. Oh. That would be kind of nifty. I like that. Now, and then where? So bit string is where we imp add EC individual, which really should be in the individual folder, which we don't have. Yes, we do. Oh, it is there. Duh. I had done the right thing and didn't even know it. And so somewhere there should be generate in here at right there. Impl generate for EC individual. So we would have impl generate for vec and we would have that logic in there. Cool. Yeah, I think that's actually a really nice solution to that problem. Um, and then the rest of it will go away because everything else, well, we either keep because it's necessary. Oh no, that's actually dealt with already. That's right uh, here. Um, so that would go away. The deprecation goes away. These things are all free and we're good. Uh, that's very cool. Okay, so um, let's, can we deprecate a struct? I bet we can. Deprecated. Um, replace VecPop with bare vectors. And so that, whoa, didn't like that. Oh, it's equal, the string. I think that's the syntax. Yes, it is. Wee so now we use VecPop all over the place. So we want to implement, we want to use just bare vectors instead. And so we're going to have to, you know, I think this smells like a whole new um, branch to me, to be honest with you. I feel like we kind of did this part and I think we want to, um, come on. Oh. Oh, that's right. I gotta stash this. Stash. Quick. Or don't. Yes, there we go. Well, let's merge that in. Merge, remove population and domain. Da -da 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 and then pop that stash here. Oh, actually I didn't even want to do that. I so well, yeah, okay, I can. So I want a branch. Um, so replace vec pop 
with bear vec. Okay, there we go. Now, so we've deprecated vec pop and I'm actually gonna commit that, which I realize isn't much, but I think it's worth noting. So deprecate vec pop. This will highlight all of its uses, which will replace with bare vectors um, so that we can eventually delete this struct, this type. Boom. So, hello? Yeah. Um, now we've got all these references to VecPop. Let's see if we can make some of them go away. Um, and some of them are going to be in tests. Um, these are probably, yeah, there's tests down here that use VecPop. So let's actually start by getting rid of these tests. And just say that's a vec of, aha, right. So if we say this is a vec, generate, that's going to fail because vec doesn't do generate, right? Uh, Really? This is supposed to... I would have, oh, it's still thinking. There we go. There is no generate found for vec. So we better fix that. So we will have a type impl generate... Uh, no, it's trait imp, trait generate population and it's going to have a fun generate it's going to take, take a bunch of stuff and return a self uh where's my individual oops no i wanted individual la, 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 la. there we are generate individual generate returns self yeah so we're basically going to take what we had in population so we're going to grab all of this stuff well that's the implementation of it so we really just want the arguments and then we'll have to fiddle the things um, and let's see so we've got the size of the population we have a make genome function which takes a random number generator actually I wonder if this could be a generalized into a trait instead of a bare fn that's another question, not probably for right this minute. Um, and then it's going to return a, so we need an individual. Um, so we're going to need, this is going to be generate genome? No, generate individual genome is that a thing no uh, that was not happy um, so 
So we had, oops. So it's I genome. And we have a population We don't have a we don't have a name. So we need self individual as individual genome. Wow, really? Sure, self individual, that makes sense. As individual genome. Uh, and that probably just needs to be imported. Yeah, I think that just needs to be imported. Boom. So we're saying that we're returning a genome that's the genome in self individual and self is a generate, which is a population, which means it has an individual and we have to ca cast it. I'm not sure if that's the right language in Rust, but we have to say that it is of type individual so that it will have the genome. If, if we don't have the as individual, we won't know that there's the genome piece. <laughs> and then this is gonna be similar um, actually it'll be exactly the same because we need to know that it has the test results piece. And so the I here becomes that. And then, yeah, this becomes that because this is a trait definition. And now H has to be, um, so this has to borrow H and H has to be not sized. So that has to be, don't we have some? So we just put that right after the arrow self. In fact, actually steal this and left to change something, but Boom, boom, boom. And so the self.genome needs to become this whole business. Ugh. Has to be borrow H where H is not sized. And then we need to imp, uh, I think that was here, right? is the H goes, yeah, after generate, because it's specific to that function. Whew. Okay. Now, is there a way, because we repeat this three times, is there something I can do like in the where clause? Um, or maybe in a where clause up here that would avoid that repetition. Uh, oh, we're importing generate from here. So we've got a problem of too many names. So we could say individual colon colon generate when we need it, um, which we need it where? right here. And then we could get rid of this. Uh, Uh, I'm doing syntax wrong. 
individual. Yeah, it should have been little i individual generate, right? No. Oh, I probably have to import that mod, that crate. So there'll be a self up here. Yeah, so I'm importing individual and self. And that takes care of that problem. Now this blows up. Um, self as population individual type individual. Consider further self as population, population, colon, colon, individual, type, individual. That seems like a lot of words. I mean, I can see saying that self as population we're making it clear that self is a population, but we're implying generation and saying that generation also imples population. So I would have thought that would have been known. Add the individual bound to the population. Um, so you think that oh that population I I or colon colon I where population I implements or individual implements individual. Aha. Okay, that made that better. Nope, it didn't. Um, ambiguous associated type. Oh, self. Maybe that worked. Um, okay. So we're saying that the associated type individual has to implement individual for generate to work. And that's because if it's not an individual, we don't have genome and test results. And now, do we need this as business anymore? Works, but you might as well say all population individuals must implement individual. So you're suggesting that this be up here and we just say everybody's got to do it. Because if you can't generate the population without making that true, then why bother? That makes sense. And now, do we need, so what's this grumpy about? Um, no, 
that's probably down below when there's, I think, a compiler error because VAC doesn't implement generate, I suspect. Oh, actually, it's right here. Yeah, so we need to say that I implements individual for this part to work. Yeah. Uh, now, can we, if we do this, do we need this business anymore? Or can we just say self individual colon colon genome? Because we know, no, nope, doesn't like that. Uh, self as population colon colon individual as trait. Oh, ick. Okay. That seems weird, though. Um, that we have to repeat this. It feels like repeating this. And we do it three times, which I find irksome. Um, okay, so... Uh, we need to implement impl uh, generate for vec i and did we I want this one. Yeah, so we just straight up impl generate. Oh, we need an I, and I is going to have to implement an individual. Yeah. And now we're going to have to add some methods. Particularly, we have to generate. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's put you down here. So now we got to find the generate logic down here and hope that we can just pop that in. And fingers crossed, life will be good. So except this part so we get a array of individuals and then we fill it and then we just want to return it so just should be individuals because that's a vec of the right things and in fact, we don't even need that nonsense. We really just need this par iter. Uh, well, let's actually maybe just get rid of, because all we really need is this par iter block. Everything else is noise. It's formatted terribly, but let's move you over. Yeah, there you go. Now we're grumpy about all kinds of things. Where are we grumpy? Mismatch type. Expected vector of I and got... Oh, we have to collect. Uh, stop. Uh, come on. Dot collect. And I cannot be sent safely between threads, so we have to say that I is send. And I doesn't imp 
implement generate. So we actually need this to be individual uh, generate. Hey, I think that worked. Uh, except, oh, I think that might be down in the test. No, no, it's right here. Why are we grumpy here? Oh, oh, because we now everything's got to be an individual for VecPop too, which we'll get rid of, but um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That all compiles, so that's happy. Um, and now best fails. What is best fail? Select. Uh, so vec of integer has to implement population. Oh, because integer is not an individual now. Uh, and so you had suggested I didn't notice it right away. Collecting instead of extending. Yeah, which I think is where I ended up. So I think we did the same thing. Um, yeah, adding that bound is... Like, it makes sense that ge that generation is going to require knowing things, maybe. But cooking it into population seems to be somewhat limiting. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Well, it's 12 o'clock. I say we take a break. And we come back to this at two. And I think that first task is to try to make this go away. Um, um, and figure out how we make the generate trait behave so that we don't need I mean, I think maybe the constraint needs to be here that uh, this is, yeah, let's come back to it. Um, uh, so I think we made a lot of progress. Actually, we got, um, I think we did good things on the, um, iter on population, getting rid of that and replacing it um, with things that make more sense and, and actually probably improve the performance of best and tournament by having the slice um, ASREF implementation. Um, so I think that that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, and uh, we can um, I think we're making progress here, and I think that after a little lunch and uh, a moment away, we will come back and have awesome thoughts, and we will make this better. So thank you all very much. Always appreciated. Um, I hope you're having a fine Saturday. It's gray and cold here. Um, but uh, we'll come back and uh, make this cool stuff happen in a couple of hours. And uh, thank you. And Oh, very cold for you. Oh, that's too bad. Um, yeah, it's quite chilly here. We had, and we've got a potentially large snowstorm coming through early next week. So that'll be fun. Um, so, uh, stay warm and I will see everybody back in a couple of hours. Thank you and goodbye.